this is a great time of the year to find bargains at the nursery. And that's exactly what I did here. But what do you do when you get home with them and the ground is frozen or it's too cold or too wet and you don't want to go out and plant them? Do what we call healing in. This is a very simple process. This is compost here. And all I need to do is to actually dig a hole and take the plant, pot and all, and actually that's not quite deep enough, so I better go a little bit deeper, and plant pot and all, simply that, and pull the mulch in around, and that's what we call, we've call healing in. Now when the weather's suitable, we can take this up out of the mulch, take it out of the container, and actually plant it in a planting location. But why not take advantage of those sales? For example, here's another one. My wife has been wanting a forsythia in the garden because of the bright yellow flowers and how beautiful they are in January or late January and early February. And it's a bare root plant. So you can see there, it's not in a container at all. And all I need to do once again is simply dig a hole in this mulch material and pull the soil in and when I'm ready to plant I'll dig it up again and put it in its permanent planting location. Now here's a different situation. Notice here I've got a rhododendron. It flowered this past fall and of course we always pick off those spent flowers. But is what's happening you'll notice is that the buds are beginning to swell and this is a little bit exposed here. So let's take it in under the tree and plant it and we'll use a different planting material. This is such a beautiful red rhododendron. But you know rhododendrons are a little bit on the tender side and in addition the buds on this particular one as you can see are beginning to swell. Had some flowers in the fall already so we need to give it some protection. Now first of all you can just dig a hole in the ground until you're ready to plant it, unless the ground's frozen, of course, and stick the plant in and pull the soil around. Or here are some other great materials for healing in. This is bark, and this, of course, is straw, excellent material for providing protection for plants uh, during the winter, and, of course, leaves. But what's important here, we have the beautiful evergreens above, so we have some protection from above, and that's why I chose this spot for the rhododendrons. And is what I'll do in this particular case, just to give you an idea, on this side of the plant, I'm gonna pull in some bark. On this side, I'll just pull in a little bit of straw around it. And this side, we'll pull in some leaves. See how nicely that plant is healed in? So why not take advantage of the sales at this time of the year and some, select some plants and save some money at the same time?